Hey guys, Coin Metallurgist here, um, and this is going to be part three of the 20 pounds of foreign coins uh, video. Um, I wasn't going to do a part three, but I decided that I wanted to do a part three and just show you some of the coins um, that I pulled out um, and kept from the 20 pound uh, mix. Um, and a lot of this is going to be a focus on uh, coins that are the first ones that I have from those countries. Um, so I'm just going to go through um, and I just marked the ones that I want to show you and I'll just show them to you one at a time. So this is uh, Afghanistan. So this is the first coin I have from Afghanistan. Five Afghanis from 2004. So not very old. Um, you know, not a amazing coin as far as its appearance, but just the first one I have from there. Um, and then again, uh, same idea, first coin I have from Armenia. Um, I had a little bit difficulty uh, figuring out uh, where this was from because I can't, you know, just real interesting writing on it, not uh, the same alphabet that we use. You know, again, 2003, not very old. Okay, moving along here. Um, and then just a coin here uh, from the Bahamas. Um, same design as all of the one cent coins I get from the Bahamas all the time. It, you know, just like this one here, um, but it's a little bit older one and it's uh, larger. So it's just a little bit bigger than the ones I see all the time. Moving along here. Okay, um, so this is a, uh, one of the Canadian nickels. There are a whole lot of Canadian nickels, um, but this one is the uh, kind of 60 year um, victory anniversary. So 1945-2005, I stick it right here next to the 1945 one. So that's kind of fun to have. Um, and then I want to show you uh, a few coins here from uh, Cape Verde. Um, so it seemed that in 1994 they made three different uh, 10 escudos and three different 20 escudo coins. So they had uh, a bird, a flower, and a ship for each one. I think they did the same for the five uh, escudo, but I don't have those ones. Um, but here's the brown-headed kingfisher. That's the bird. We got a flower... Uh, Lingua da, uh, da Vaca, I think it is. So, tongue of the cow. Uh, and then, sail ship uh, Carvalho. Um, and then we have just the flower and the, the ship in the 20 Escudo. I don't have the bird that wasn't in there. But all of these, all of these uh, 10 and 20 Escudo coins came out of the 20 pounds. So, this is a Carreca, uh, maybe. And then... Sail ship uh, Novas de Ale Alegria, um, so like, um, happy news kind of thing. Um, so that's all the ones in that binder, moving along here. So I have these um, pretty much in alphabetical order by country. Um, and I'm up to four binders now. I try to keep some space between the, the countries, uh, sometimes... Uh, that space gets filled pretty quick. Oh, there was one I wanted to show you here. Uh, this is Georgia. So, again, just the first coin I have from Georgia. It's got a uh, lion, I think, on there. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of their currency. It's five, uh, Thetri, uh, Thetri, maybe? Don't know for sure about that. Not very many in this binder. This binder's got, you know, Germany and uh, Britain and Greece in it, so it's got a lot less countries than some of the other binders with the same amount of coins. All right, moving along here. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure this was the oldest coin um, that came out by far the oldest coin that came out of uh, the 20 pounds. There really weren't anything very old. Um, I think just because it's Japan and, you know, the date isn't written in um, the numerals that we use, it's written, you know, in Japanese. 
they didn't pull it out, but it's from 1919, and it's just a one sen coin. It's a bronze. So that's the oldest coin that I pulled out of the 20 uh, pounds. Um, and then I got a, uh, this is the first two coins I have from Jersey. So I got a five pence coin from Jersey and a 10 pence that's in a pretty bad shape here that I'll replace once I get a better one from it. I'll just take this one out of the two by two and put a better one in. You can hardly see it, but it's, oh, there you go. It's all scratched up up there. Show you the other side of those are just the uh, queen, I believe. This one, just the queen on the back. Okay. Um, and then uh, the first coin that I ever had from uh, Kuwait here. Not very old, you know. Okay, moving along. Focus it a little bit better. Got all Mexico here. And then here, this one is the first one I have from this country. Let me find it here, this one. Um, and this actually, I did not even know that this country existed. Um, that's an A, so it's Maritas. And it's just a little tiny island from what I could tell. Just five cents from there, nothing real special. Um, don't know much about it, just new country there. Um, and then here, these uh, appeared to be some islands in the Caribbean. Um, they're called Netherlands um, Antilles. So there's five cents and then two different uh, 25 cent coins. I'll show you the reverse of this coin. And I really like the, the front of this coin with the seashells. I like that design. So there's the reverse of the five cent. Or the other side. I don't know if I showed you the reverse or the obverse first. Come on. I'll move it. Yeah. Go. and just a plain 25 cents and then again I like the front of this coin I like the back of it too I just like that coin overall happy with that one um, and I got quite a few different coins from uh, well a few coins from Pakistan that I liked I just want to show you this one here um, just it's a real really high relief on this coin I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. There we go. So just, I think it must be their king on here. Not sure if Pakistan has a king or what they have, but it's just real high relief, um, you know, for that. Let's stick that back in there and we'll get moving here. one here um, you know I was telling you I really like these coins from Portugal and I got different ones here um, but I got the two and a half and the five uh, uh, scudos of uh, the 100th anniversary death of Alexander uh, I don't know it was Herculano and it said that he was a poet so just a commemorative coin of him and of course the heads upside down here but Show you that. That was kind of a fun, different one there. Um, my first coin here from Saudi Arabia. Reminds me of uh, similar to the coins from Egypt um, and countries over there, but just a little bit different design, you know, a little bit unique for them. One last binder here. All right, two coins here on the front page that are from first first from those countries. Um, we got Slovenia. Pull a piece of paper out. And I'll show you the reverse of that coin. And the other one is uh, Somaliland. And just a standard, or not that special of a reverse there. 
Um, but I really like the, the elephants on this side. It's an aluminum coin. And uh, one I want to show you from Spain here, right here. This is uh, the World Cup soccer games. This is from 1982. You know, it really bothers me how Spain, they'll do these coins and they'll put like 1980 on it, but then in real little, they'll put um, the 1982 because they made the same coin for about three years. Um, first coin here I've ever had from uh, Swaziland. So we got quite a few different uh, African, Asian countries, Middle Eastern countries that are the first coin that I have from there. Um, I don't get those coins as much as I get the European coins or the South American coins. Yeah, I know that I have coming up here, uh, the very end, uh, Zambia, first coin I have from there. Um, stop here for a minute in Turkey. Um, this just kind of shows, uh, like hyperinflation, I would say, in Turkey. Um, so in 2000, this is a 100,000 lira coin. I gotta pull that one out. Sorry about the lighting and the focus here. There we go. <clears throat> 100,000 lira. I just think that's incredible. And then I'm, I don't know when, but at some point after that, they changed their currency system. So here we have one lira again in, in 2009. Um, this coin, you know, not great condition, kind of bent up, uh, or kind of dented on the edges, but West African States from 1978. I think that's a really cool one. Um, you know, I really like these like West African States, East African, East Africa, uh, like um, the Caribbean ones, like East Caribbea or East Caribbean States, I think it is now. Um, here's the Zambia, one cent or one Nagui, I guess. Kind of fun. Just fun to have uh, all these coins from different countries to look at and to enjoy. Um, I really enjoy sticking them in these binders, sorting them by country, and then being able to go back and look at them. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. So, I mean, you know, overall there were a few good coins that I pulled out of the, the 20 pounds. There are probably at least 100, maybe 200 coins I added to the binders here, so new uh, types, um, you know, different uh, denominations from coins for different countries that I didn't have before. Um, and then again, in addition to what I put in the binder, um, if there's two coins that are the same type but different years, uh, I keep the second one. I just don't card it or stick it in a binder. I just stick the nicest one in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for watching my videos. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.